Hey guys, so today in this video we'll be talking about a question in PyDataLog. If you have already installed PyDataLog, you can straight away go to importing. Otherwise, you can use this syntax pip install PyDataLog. Since I've already done that, I'll not repeat it. Here is a question which we'll be doing today. So we have the marks scored by five students and we have the uh, criteria to give the grades and then we have to solve these queries. So as per the rules, we'll start by installing PyDataLog. Then we will use PyDataLog dot create terms. This is used to initialize all the terms that we'll be using. So I'll start by initializing X. And I'll initialize the name of all the students. So I'll go with Another thing that you could have done was initialize students and then initialize the names uh, separately. But I find this easier. Now I'll initialize marks. Pass marks. Grades. Now we'll give the attributes. So since I've already initialized the names, I don't need to worry about that. I can straight away go for marks. Marks, this is read as um, Ram and then we'll write 90, which means Ram has 90 marks. marks have been initialized. Now our first query is to print the marks and the names. So let us do that. I'll just do it as print marks x comma y since we have two attributes. Let's see if it runs. Yes. So that means that uh, this much is correct. We have initialized both these things. So our first question is over. Now we have to see which student has scored more than 80 marks. So for that, um, I'll use this query. I'll write print marks. And since first column is the name, I'll put it as X. And for second column, I want to see marks which has 80. So I'll put this. And we get the answer as Sham because he is the one who has got 80 marks. Right? Now, the third question we have to write what marks has been scored by Priya? Now, I'm sure you must have understood how we'll do this. We'll go print marks. And since for x column we are defining the value this time, so I'll write Priya in the x column and by so we have the marks of Priya that is 85. Now for uh, the fourth query we have to write a rule for pass marks denoting that the pass marks is greater than 50. Use this to print all those students who have failed. 
So this time we have to write a query to see which student has failed. So let me just try this. Let's see if it works. Uh, I'll define pass marks. Uh, since we have y column as marks, marks I don't know if it will work or not. Let's just see. No, it's not working. Oh, wait. Mm, it is not working since I put it in quotes. If this won't work, what we can do is we can define another column as grade. Yeah, this is not working. Okay, so what we can do is we can define another column as grades. So for that, what we can do that since we have to find the grade for every student, what we can do is we can assign the grade manually. So, for example, if I say that all those who are passing will get A and those who fail will get F. So, we can assign the grade according to that. Then it will be very easy. So we have assigned the grade. Now, of course, we need to change the query. So for pass marks, what I'll do is, second. yeah, so for pass marks, I'll redefine the query as, um, yeah, I'll get this X on there because I want to print the names and then I'll take the grade as F. I, uh, I guess this should work. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so now we have Raju. So in this case, what I did was manual entry. And yeah, that's done. And what is the fifth query? Write rules for finding grade letters for marks and find the grade. So we have already done that. We can simply print it. So we have print grades x and y. So we printed the grades for all of them. So these were some questions from PyData Log. And uh, if you found this video as useful, please make sure to like comment and uh, let me know if you want to see more videos like this thank you for watching bye